Wilson from the Pro Rock House of Worship, and we are here today doing another episode of Comedy Confessions, and we are still COVID style on the Zoom room. That's right. And today we have Angie McMahon here to talk to us about her comedy and her sin. So Angie, tell us about yourself. I am hailing from the most wonderful city in the world, Chicago, Illinois, Chicago. where I'm a faculty member at the Second City, and I host a weekly streaming comedy game show every Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time called Wisecracking, where comedians are pitted in a head-to-head -head competition to write a punchline to a setup they've never seen. It streams every Friday. You can check it for free at wisecracking.com. Wisecracking.com, everybody. All right. So Angie, you're here to confess a sin and we need to talk about that and see what it is we can get off your chest, make you feel better. What's your sin, Angie? Well, recently my 10 year old's pediatrician said she was gluten free and I don't believe that's a thing. So I still force her to eat bread, but she's been vomiting a lot. Hold on a second. Did your pediatrician say that the pediatrician was gluten free or your 10 year old should be gluten free? Uh, she did not tell me if she personally is gluten-free, which I feel like is maybe a personal choice because most people like to open up to me about weird facts, but she did say she thinks my 10-year-old is gluten-free, and I think that's voodoo talk. Oh, so you think it's voodoo talk, so the fact that you're feeding your 10-year-old gluten and your 10-year-old's vomiting all over the place you don't think it's because of the gluten? You think it's because... The devil. The devil. The therapist, it's the therapist. The devil's working through the therapist, and I should be doing an exorcism with the therapist, right? Are you drunk? It's a pediatrician. Oh, pediatrician. Yeah, therapist, pediatrician. They're all the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you never know. You never know. So uh, did it ever occur to you that maybe you should just stop feeding the 10-year-old the gluten? That's what they want me to do. And you don't want to fall into that trap. No, no. I'm not going to be held to someone else's standards. I'm my own person. You're your own person. And even if your 10 year old has to suffer, that's okay. It's a good thing. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to work it out of them, right? Mm, yeah. It's, it's like immunity. If you give them enough gluten, they'll be immune to it. That's what I think. Yeah. And I'm not going to fact check it. And you're not going to fact check it. No. You know, there is this thing called Google, right? You know, like you can, you can Google it and you can do it. And... That's what they want me to do. They want me to look at Google and WebMD. Everything leads back to cancer. I know what's going on. Oh, you do. So Don't since you know what's like... going on, maybe you should start your own Google. We'll call it the Angie. I'm going to Angie it. They have an Angie's list. Why not Angie search? You know, hey, hey. We're going to do the Angie search, and then you can write your own facts, right? Because that's what Google does, right? They write their own facts, right? I mean, that's true. Yeah. That is a true thing that I believe. Mm -hmm. So so how are we going to get you, how are we going to, so I'm trying to figure out what the sin is. Well, is the I sin think... that you're not listening to the pediatrician? Is the sin that you haven't figured out how to exercise the pediatrician or ex exorcism the pediatrician? Or I don't want you exercising, you know, that. Although that might be fun too, but you know. Um. Hallelujah. I think the sin here is needing to get the devil out of my child, but do it in a in a safe way. And I'm just not sure how to do that, Father. You're not sure how to get the sin out of your child. The devil. The devil out of your child. Okay, how are we gonna exercise? It, it, is your child male or female? You didn't tell me whether it's a boy or a girl. Female, but gender is a construct. Gender is a construct. I'm kind of sensing a little theme going on over here, like anti-establishment type stuff. You know, it's okay. All right. So how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna exor exorcism? Yeah, I, I like the exercise thing, but you know. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. All right. Let's say we do a week of no gluten, right? And then. <laughs> We do a week of gluten, and then we do a week of no gluten, and then we do a week of new gluten. Maybe let's not do the week. Let's do a couple days no gluten, couple days of gluten, couple days no gluten, couple days of gluten. 
right? And and then as you're giving her the gluten, right? And you're doing the gluten, you're gonna go, devil be gone, gluten is good. You think you can do that? Devil be gone, gluten is good. Devil be gone, gluten is good. Do I have to say it as enthusiastically as you just did? Oh, you gotta get it out there. You gotta- All right. The devil is gone, gluten is good. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Come on, let's try it right I, now. I'm gonna give my, the devil out of my kid. Yeah, you're either gonna get the devil out of your kid or scare the devil out of your kid. You never know, but you know, hey, mommy, whoa, what's going on over there, you know? I like this plan. Let's try it. D okay, gluten is good, devil be gone! Was that yeah, it? Yeah, you're getting there, you're getting there. You know, devil be gone, the gluten is good! Do it, like really get into the cat. Yeah, get into it. The, the, you wanna do it together? We can do it together, you know, one time. Oh, Father, I thought you weren't allowed to do things like that. Well, you never know. Come on, ready? One, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, come uh, on. Devil be gone! The gluten is good! Devil be gone! The gluten is good! And, and, huh? and then hopefully the puking will subside and then she'll be fine with the gluten. I think it's all mental. I think that, you know, the, the psychiatrist, the pediatricist or whoever, you know, they, they put it into their head that they're allergic to gluten and that's why they be, that's what happens. That's what's going on. I agree with you, Father. I, Thank I you so for Thank this. you, Angie. You feel a little better, Angie? You think you like? Think you can do that? I do. I feel like I have a plan, and I'm going to execute it, and and report back. And report progress. back. Yes. Let's see how it goes in a couple. Of days. Hallelujah. Angie, tell us where we can find you. You can find me on Twitter at Angie McMahon because I won that name war. Or you can find me every week on Fridays at 8 p.m. Central at wisecracking.com. Wisecracking.com, everybody. Sounds like a fun show. You ought to go watch it. Yeah. All right. Are we good? We're good. Yeah. <laughs>